Welcome to a quick video on how to use your Interlock XT. We at Draeger want to make this process as easy as possible, so we've designed a device that helps you drive safely without getting too much in the way. As you may have heard, the Interlock XT is the fastest product on the market, allowing you to complete a breath test in less than 10 seconds. Let's see how fast it can be. Now, here are some topics that we'll cover in this program. Before you begin the process, make sure that the tab on the mouthpiece is pushed securely into the notch on the device. To start the Interlock XT, put your key in the ignition and turn it to the on position. Or if you have a push button ignition, press the start button to turn your car on. In either case, you'll see the device won't let your engine start just yet. First, your device will complete a self-test and warm-up. You'll see the message, Warming up, please wait, on the device display while this is happening. When the Interlock XT is ready to take your breath sample, it will beep and a yellow LED light will flash. The message, Ready for test, please blow, will then appear. Make sure that you are breathing calmly and evenly before you start your test. When you're ready, take a deep breath in Wrap your lips completely around the mouthpiece and blow steadily into it. You'll hear a solid tone as you blow, which lets you know you are blowing into the device properly. When the tone stops, immediately take a long, deep breath in, sucking the air back in until you hear another tone. Don't pause between blowing out and sucking in, or the device won't be able to analyze your sample. That's all it takes to complete a breath test. Before we move on, Let's take a quick look at this breathing technique again. Just a deep breath in, a steady breath out, and a long, deep breath back in. It's that simple. If your breath alcohol concentration is below the preset limit, the message test passed will appear on the device display. Another message, free start time, will soon follow, counting down the time you have left to start your vehicle. If your ignition starts with a key, turn your key to start your engine. Or, if you have a push button ignition, press the start button again while applying the brake to start your engine. Once your engine is started, the Interlock XT will display a message that says, drive safely. Sometimes a breath sample may not be provided correctly. If so, the Interlock XT will help you try again. For example, if your breathing was too hard or too soft, the device will display a message telling you what you're doing wrong. Just read the message and then respond by pressing OK to try again. When the device is ready for a new sample, the message, ready for test, please blow, will appear on screen. If your breath alcohol concentration exceeds the preset limit, your vehicle cannot be started and test failed will be displayed. This will be followed by the message, temporary lockout. If this happens, a timer will show you how much time you need to wait before trying the test again. This lockout time has been established by local policies along with your monitoring agency. Your interlock technician will tell you how long you'll need to wait before you can take your next test. Once the temporary lockout has expired, the Interlock XT will ask you to take another breath test. Just keep in mind that any failed tests will be reported to your monitoring agency. And a special note, Clean breath sample can be compromised if you consume any products that contain alcohol before getting into your car. You should also make sure there's nothing in your mouth that might get stuck in the mouthpiece causing a clog. And remember, it is your responsibility to be able to provide a clean breath sample. A good practice is to avoid eating or drinking anything except water for at least 15 minutes before a test. The Interlock XT has been designed to give you random retests during your journey to ensure you stay sober. When it's time for a retest, a tone will sound, the yellow LED will flash, and retest required, please blow, will appear on screen. At this point, you'll have a few minutes to stop your vehicle in a safe place and start your retest. We strongly encourage you to pull off the road to a secure area during any random retest. Make sure you don't turn off the engine while you're taking a retest. Rest assured, your engine will not be disabled while you complete your test. Once you're finished, if the message, Test Passed, appears on the screen, you can continue driving. 
Any retest you take, whether failed or not, will be reported to your monitoring agency. Keep in mind that you're responsible for operating your vehicle safely at all times. Also keep in mind that you must complete every random retest, even if you're arriving at your destination when a retest occurs. Failing to complete any random retest will be recorded as a violation by your device. For this reason, it's critical that you do not leave your vehicle while it's running. If you're not in the car when the random retest is signaled, it will be recorded as a test failure. When you turn off your engine, an engine restart period will begin. During this time, the device will let you restart your vehicle without taking another test. The message, free start time, will appear, along with a countdown of the time you have to restart your vehicle. If this time expires, you'll need to take another test to restart your engine. The Interlock XT will tell you when your next maintenance appointment is, reminding you a few days before the date and counting down the days as it approaches. If you miss your scheduled maintenance, some monitoring agencies may allow you a short grace period during which you can bring your vehicle in for service. If you don't bring your vehicle in for service before the grace period expires, your device will lock you out. If a maintenance lockout happens, please call your Interlock Service Center immediately. They can help you get your car restarted so you can bring it in for your missed appointment. Keep the following things in mind. The Draeger Interlock XT will never lock you out without first warning you, and any lockout data will be sent to your monitoring agency. Your Interlock XT is equipped with technology called anti-circumvention detection. This means that it is programmed to recognize any attempt to tamper with the XT. Any attempts to bypass, tamper, or otherwise affect or compromise the operation of the device is a crime and may subject you to a felony conviction or incarceration. Also, if your interlock device has a camera attached to it, do not touch it. Your interlock installer has positioned the camera to get the best possible view of you during breath tests. Any attempts to tamper with the camera may also be a crime and subject you to a felony conviction or incarceration. Please remember that it's your responsibility to ensure that your face is in full view of the camera. Before we conclude, here are a few things to remember. You are responsible for the maintenance and condition of the Interlock XT while it is in your possession and for the overall maintenance and condition of your vehicle itself. If your vehicle needs repairs, please call your Draeger Interlock XT installer for further instructions. Just make sure to keep documentation of any repairs to your vehicle. Your reporting agency may request them. If you encounter any device message or situation not covered in this video or your instructions, contact your interlock technician immediately for help. We at Draeger pride ourselves on being able to help you when you need us. So be sure your installer gives you his or her contact information before you leave today. Once again, thank you for choosing the Draeger Interlock XT. We're sure you'll find it to be the easiest to use vehicle immobilizer on the market today.